surfing around the web, I was reading about MS and I started to come across information about certain genes and the risk of developing MS and I wanted to share it with you. Apparently, there's a gene mutation known as the <laughs> mutation. No, this isn't the Sam Jackson of gene mutations, but it's potentially just as dangerous. <laughs> is an abbreviation of a genetic mutation of the methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase enzyme that helps our bodies convert vitamin B9, also known as folate, into a usable form called methylfolate. You need methylfolate for DNA synthesis and repair, neurotransmitter production, detoxification, and immune function. And when the gene is mutated, your body's ability to convert vitamin B9 into methylfolate is reduced by like 40 to 70%. And that's been connected to heart disease, Alzheimer's, bladder cancer, and MS-like symptoms. So yeah, if the gene that makes such an important enzyme is damaged like a your health is gonna be affected down the line. Not much is known about the biological processes that lead to the onset of MS. So this discovery is huge for developing new treatments that tackle the root cause of the disease, not just the symptoms. And people who carry the mutation have a 70% chance of developing MS. Now that's not to say that if you don't have this mutation, you won't get the disease, or if you do have the you will, but it sort of helps highlight epigenetics and the connection to lifestyle and disease. Like the food we eat, the way we interact with stress, whether or not we get enough sleep, all of these things have a role in the genes that turn off and on. And more and more, it's looking like if you have this mutation, you got to be extra careful with how you work with all this lifestyle stuff. The vlog Mommy Potamus breaks it down quite well. Better than me right now. And the link is in the description. So head there to get a much more detailed rundown of it all. It's interesting like a Now there are over 50 different types of gene mutations that have been linked to the serious health problems that I mentioned earlier in the vlog. And since this particular one affects us in the MS community, I thought it was interesting like So read up about it more yourself and maybe you think it's interesting too. Okay, bye. Mm-hmm.